Hey there, dear Spellweaver community, and welcome to, I think, now the 11th installment of Spellweaver Ranked. And after the atrocious last episode of Spellweaver Ranked, where we played Hate Bears, which I now dub as I, I Hate Bears. Um, new product by Apple, by the way. Um, I said at the end of that episode, um, by the way, it's, it wasn't the pro fault of the deck, because, you know, it was played, as I mentioned in that episode, it was played by Lorenziel. It was his version of Hate Bears that he played. I think it was in the not in the last uh, not in the last championship, but I think the pre the previous one. Because in the last one there there was no one that played Hate Bears. Apparently, you just can't play it at the moment because um, there are decks out there that are more powerful than this. But I promised one thing in particular, and that is that I'm gonna play Vampires again, and this is exactly what we're gonna do. This deck. I think I played it five times by now, and I won five times with that. Three times in friendlies, two times in ranked, and I have a video proof of that. I won both uh, both of these games in the spell we were ranked. Um, the games were really long because the deck is drawn out, but uh, yeah, also we played against Angels, and I don't know what the second one was, but uh, we managed to go through that, so I played it before. So you guys know the cards, you also see it in the top bottom left. If you want to see the deck tag, however, link is in the description below to the first episode where I played Vampire. So if you want to see the deck tag, um, check that out. I think for now, we're just gonna hop back into rank, you know. What Hate Bears brought to us is uh, devastating because we dropped to 568 now. We lost a bunch of points, we are below 900, which is atrocious. So let's hope that Vampires are gonna save us. We'll see. Finding a game quick is not the best thing, apparently. So, we play against Ray in 87. Everyone seems... To, I see that freaking hero so often lately. I don't know why. Um, it's keepable. Let's keep it. Uh, we don't need two of those. Perfect. Yeah, the thing is, um, it utilizes Mono Dominion, so... Two times vampirism, which stacks, by the way. It util utilizes um, dominion only, so there's that going, and it seems to be drones. Which could be a little bit of a problem, but we'll see. Let's use power surge. Nice, so we can play the good the good bloodborne prince n -n -n next turn. Or we could use, could go for vampirism. <laughs> the Automatron can buff him to a 3 3. Mm hmm. My good friend, the Bloodborne Prince. A uh, Bloodborne Prince. The Bloodseeking Mutant, obviously. Mm, he probably is gonna get killed, but I'm just gonna get rid of this drone now. He can run the Automatron into him. Yeah, he will. Let's see. It's gonna be a 4-4, I guess, yeah. So that thing survives, but I can assassinate it, so no no big deal there. It also doesn't have mana, so... Not a big threat at all. Not a big threat at all. Let's use this. Get that dealt with. Hmm, also could have used Prinha actually, but ah well. Let's see. All right. So either Bloodborne Prince or Prinha, we'll see. If she sh if he shields himself and I put Prinha under him, does it kill him? Might be. Um, for now. For some hours, saw that coming. Uh, for now, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Is she a vampire, by the way? Yeah, nice. Okay. So I can play her, or I get her on on my side of the field, and I get vampirism, and I can play Bloodborne Prince at one turn, which is pretty cool. That guy sucks. Now he sucks three times as bad. I think she needs three aspects, yeah. To be OP, she needs three aspects, which we can... could get. 
Yeah. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this guy a little bit beefed up before we like do something. So, um, should we play Prince or Vampirism? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, he could use his ability next turn. Let's use the Bloodborne Prince now. Tempted also to use my Raven, but... Nah. Ah, I should have gone for the Cathedral. Oh well. I'm gonna wait um, until he uses uh, the Energy Burst on the... On this guy again, and then I'm just gonna snatch it with my Helm of Dominion right here. Hmm, hmm. Steel Sentient. Which I can kill with Prinha this turn. Which I should, because I think he summons a drone. Yeah. Each time. Yeah, of course. I can also snatch him, though. Doesn't have to be. It's a good distraction. Doesn't have to. I don't have to snatch him with the helm. We'll see. Hmm. I also have Cataclysm, so nothing to worry at all. Let's play this. That's cool. Get this guy out. And since we have nothing to fear, just gonna do that. Get some life. Said I don't have enough uh, mana to summon a raven, but. Oh well. <clears throat> Come on, buff him up, dude. Then I can kill... If I gain control over him, he has 7 energy, and that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Then I can kill... Yes! Oh no, I can't run, in, run him into, into this, because he's a 3-speed. Damn it. Maybe he just doesn't want me to block him. Might be a thing. So he's back to a 5-5. Five, five. Mm. Brings me down to 4 mana. Give me that guy. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't have mana. Um, that would kill it. Do I want to deal with it, though? Nah, I have Cataclysm. It's okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Alrighty. And he still gets a little bit buff when he when these two trigger. Sucks a little bit, but I can actually get rid of uh, some of some of these things just with the cathedral. I mean, sure. Why not? Make the steel sentience a little bit smaller. Six damage hurts though. He has two mana left. He doesn't have like big removal, maybe with flash freeze or something. But that's about it. So give me one of these. Get the blood sick mutant out. Give me this. Attack this. Um get this out of the way. That would be enough. Ah! Victory! Told you! Vampires, my friends! Vampires! All day! Yes! Woohoo! Vampires all day up in this! God damn it!
That shit is strong and I fucking love it. So now we are back to 917. Freaking hate bears, take this. Up to 500 f 558. And let's see how we go how it goes in game number two. Vampires back up in this. <laughs> well, that took a long time. Game number two against is against Puzia or Puja777. <laughs> we have three times Lord Carthus in our hand. Um, I'll say we keep it though, because we have Prinha, we have the Bloodborne Prince, we have Assassinate, so we can deal with early aggression. And I'm just gonna, if we don't hit, if we don't hit shrines, I just DO away Lord Carthus. It's not a big deal. And a Shadow Step Assassin, there we go. Alright. I think I'm gonna get this out straight away, by the way, because I freaking love it. Steadly provides us with a little bit of early protection. Trigon of the Pact. Alright. Alright then, my friend. Just gonna make sure that we hit... Should I assassinate? Nah. Just gonna make sure that we hit vampirism sooner or later. That's the main concern. I see a lizard barbarian. A fireball. Alright. Fesayan mercenary. It has to be a catch. Just, you know, a 2 2 for two aspects, one is a little bit weird. But I think I'm gonna use him to sacrifice him to the Bloodborne Prince. So I'm gonna play him first. Hmm. Making sure that we actually have a shrine. There we go. Perfect. A little bit concerned that we don't hit vamp vampirism yet, by the way. Because if we go up one more mana, we could actually play it next turn. I think if he doesn't play anything that I have to use this guy for, I'm... Um, yeah, never mind. Because I would have, like, sacrificed him to the Bloodborne Prince. To buff him up, but... So far for that. Could just play here, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna play the Bloodborne Prince. He's lifebound straight away, which is pretty good. So far, he hit, only hits me with, with rem removal, though, which is a little bit weird. And it can't be one turn kill, because... What the fuck, man? What is this? I was about to say, it can't be one turn kill, because uh, he doesn't play the Spina, and you definitely need that. <sighs> well, just play the standard, I guess. That's a bummer. I don't get it. I really don't get it. What is this guy doing? Well, I'm gonna hit him with that next turn. <clears throat> mm, not gonna play anything here. Don't wanna run into the risk of... Having that killed again, whatever I play next. And apparently he doesn't have any creatures anyway, so... And whatever he puts out, we can shrink it with the Bloodseeking Mutant. Or kill it with Assassinate. Even though he has like 5 mana, so he's getting beefed up a little bit now. But there is a way for us to... Get healed anyways. Scatterdor's Bitching. Maybe also, maybe though he runs every removal card that Rage has to offer, so he might have the one that kills an artifact, which I don't remember how it's called because I never seen that really being played. Okay. Don't ask me, I don't know. I have no idea what this guy's doing. Get this out. Bam. 
Alright. Play this, and even though it hurts, just play this normally. And get the HP back. Yeah, throw your next removals, because, you know, that's what Rage and Wisdom always has. To have something that is removal. We've seen that, yep, there we go. God damn it, man. Boring! Whatever you're doing, it's freaking boring! Just wanted to throw that out. There we go. Um, just gonna get rid of this for now. There was the next one. Power search. Getting beefed up. Thank you. Back to twenty. What you doing now, my friend? What you doing now? The problem is he can also use his firestorm now. So, I don't know if we <laughs> get any creatures out in the next couple of turns. If he keeps being a douche like this. Is it literally just flame serpents? And fireballs? And the one damage that the card that does one damage to me? Because that might be the case. Which is weird. Aside of that, he only has removal, as it seems. Alright. Yeah, we can't play this sadly because we have to sacrifice a creature for that. Um I'm just gonna play it again to get it removed again, I guess. Um On a non vampire creature, and this is a vampire, so chokes on us, I guess. That's what that would be one HP, yep. Can't really use my soul raven though when he when he always like goes for the flame serpent. And obviously just hero damage. That seems to be his his deal right here. I also can't really play it of Blood Seeking Mutant then if he doesn't play any creatures other than the Flame Serpent. It's only removal, apparently. It's only fucking removal. Oh, of course, and yeah, that. Forgot about that card. Well, I can shrink it, though. Shrink it once. Shrink it twice. There we go. At least it triggered. That's all that matters. <laughs> I can just play Cataclysm just to get like uh, Skeletor's, uh, the Skeletor's bidding thing. It's another Vampirism, which doesn't do anything for us, sadly. <sighs> you know, lately. Um, when you play a game, when it, whether it being a card game or whether it being a, um, he's probably getting fireball, uh, whether it being a card game, whether it being like, um, a MOBA, there is always, always one hero or card that you gravitate towards because you just love playing it, which would be vampires in my case, by the way, but there's only, there's always one card, hero, whatever the case might be, whatever you're playing, that you just hate, and it's not because you lose against it all the time, it's just because you think it's freaking garbage, and I can tell you one card perfect, I can tell you one card by the way after I'm gonna deal with his shitty side of the board by the way, their cataclysm BAM yes um next turn, Provence Overseer Shadow Step, uh, Shadow Step is in first and then Pro Provence Overseer, sacrifice this can also use him because it's two mana if he survives, that is. We'll see. Uh, by the way, let's see. Um, we would be if I use Soul Raven, we would be down to three mana. 
four, five, six, seven, that would be eight, that would be four HP. Minus two, so two HP, because, you know, we need two for that, so... It's a win-lose situation. Oh yeah, there, um, there is only always one card that you gravitate towards, and there is one card that you absolutely hate. And not necessarily also for me because I lose against it, it's because it's just freaking garbage. And in my opinion, that's um, Alexa, the one that you use for angels. Because every hero you can play differently, you can, you know, it's, it's diversified basically. You can play any hero. Um, oh wait, let's see. Let's see, um... Because now we are in a little bit of a pickle right here. Okay. It's three. Yeah, we can play all of these, actually. <laughs> That's a 1-4 or a Soul Raven right there, by the way. Kill this. Bam. And no, don't use this because, you know, Skeletor is bidding. And then attack for 4, which he can block with his shit, but I don't care. Because I still get the healing. There we go. Or can I buff, buff him somehow? <laughs> Sadly not. Would be funny though. That's 12 HP and a little bit more, about 6 I think. 5. From Skeletor's bidding, he can do 10 damage now, down to 7. And we don't have any card in hand, so we probably can't gain much from Skeletor's bidding now. Yeah, we might be dead next turn. But yeah, what I was, what I was about to say is, um, what I absolutely hate is Alexa, because you can't play Alexa um, in any way. Like, you know, you can play the Spina different ways with different uh, kind of creatures, but there is only one specific way that you can play um, Alexa as. And that's Angels, because, you know, that's the basic hero power. You can play anything else if you, pl if you play her. And that might be the first lose, by the way, for our unbeaten deck so far. Let's get this in the front. Um, actually, see if we can get something. Make it range. Make it rain! Oh, we get eight. Can we use it again? Oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. It's useless, but you know, we get we get we get that from scattered doors now. That's awesome. Oh. Alright, alrighty. That's good to know. That's really good to know. He can get 20 damage in though. Yeah, and I can't block them. So you know, Dragonfire to, uh, with with one or both of both of these, either once or twice from one, and then he just swings in for beats, and I can't block it sadly, because I don't have the necessary speed. Well, that was boring, but we almost managed to get out of that. <sighs> sadly, the deck, our deck, has been beaten by bullshit. <laughs> Good game though, Puzia Puja777. You proved us wrong, but see, we are still over 900, uh, at 900 exactly to be precise. Let's get our reward. Get our reward right here. There we go. Alright. Next game! <laughs> Let's see if it takes another 300 seconds this time. We'll see. <laughs>